Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Taste Test and yet another fancy location on my trip in California. Uh, this is a show where I taste different random items, limited edition, specialty flavors, uh, chain location specific items, and everything in between. If you'd like to know more about this whole situation, how I'm in California, you can click back through some of the videos. I'll link it at the end so you can check it out. Um, and you can find out more about this lovely trip that I've been on that's provided a lot of content here for Taste Test. And if you'd like more content like this, be sure to scroll down, subscribe, ring that bell. That way you're notified when I post new videos and you'll be notified on Saturdays when this video series posts. Today, we have a hot one for you. Thank God it's cold outside, not cold, but cool outside because it's going to get hot in here, just like Nelly, because I have three, uh, three chips that we're going to try today. And only one Mountain Dew to soothe, soothe my poor mouth as I try all three of these items. These items I found randomly at a gas station. I don't even remember, excuse me, what gas station it was. I just, I bought them because I thought they'd be funny. And now I am rapidly approaching having to eat them. And I'm scared. I'm a little, a little scared. We are going to try three flavors. One is going to be Mexican street corn, Cheetos. Uh, and this one says that it is... Tangy, spicy, cheesy. The next one we're going to try is Screamin' Sriracha, which looks scary, just based on this, scary. Then, last but not least, we're going to try <laughs> Flamin' Hot Sweet Carolina Reaper che uh, Cheetos. I almost said Cheerios, which would be uh, kind of similar to a prank that Brett Favre played on Matt Hasselbeck back in the day. Uh, a lot funnier than his current prank of robbing a bunch of people um so that is what we're going to do today someone just went through that area very quickly they have the window open it's lovely here it's very nice so there's a little extra noise that's why also this room seems to be a little more echoey than normal so if that sounds weird that is also why but it's uh, probably nothing compared to those dogs that barked uh in that one video so i'm gonna go what i think is going to be the least hot to the most hot. Again, one half bottle of Mountain Dew to soothe my aching, soon to be aching mouth. Uh, and we'll give these a little bit of worry, uh, a little bit of a, a little worry, a little test here. Um, this one, the first time I've seen this specific bag, I just want to throw this out here, was in California. I don't know if, if they are going to make it further into like the inland Northwest where I live, or if it was just kind of like a a thing that the gas station had. I, I don't really know. So this is the first time I've seen these, so I grabbed them. The Screaming Sriracha I've seen a couple of times, and that includes in the Pacific Northwest, and I've seen the Carolina Reapers in the Pacific Northwest, so I think those are more of a widespread thing. But this might be more of a location-specific, but I, I don't know. They don't smell terrible. They have a... Hmm. They're kind of like weirdly like naked Cheetos, because they're just like the regular Cheeto color. Hello, please. They're not orange and cheesy. That's not doing anything at all. Would you like to focus on that, please? Do I have to do the Do I have to do the makeup hand? There you go. Maybe. Ah, there you go. Naked Cheeto with a little bit of flavor on it. Okay, now focus on me. Thank you. Hmm. They're not really all that spicy. The second one has more flavor on it. Hmm. They're okay. They're a little more, they, they, they definitely hit the tangy part of it, but I don't think they're necessarily spicy. I ate like three of them quickly. There's a little bit of a kick to it, but I don't think they're like, Single, single, single bite spicy. Um, they're not bad. I don't love them. Uh, I don't know if it's, if they cook them differently, but they don't have the typical crunch that I'm expecting out of a crunchy Cheeto like this. So that is a little weird, but I don't know. I don't really get a whole lot of lime. I don't get a whole lot of cheese. I just kind of get the spice, but even then it's like, nah, it just kind of tastes like a naked Cheeto. They're not, they're not great. They're not great. Thankfully, they didn't burn my mouth, so. 
they did that, but they didn't burn my mouth, but they did like just get swallowed incorrectly. So that's exciting. We're going to move on now to Screamin' Sriracha. This one has just such a ghostly bag to it. It's so scary. I don't know why. And just the way they have the, the shadowing here. It looks like a horror movie. <sighs> We're going to try these out. It doesn't smell terrible. I, I like the way these smell. Um, do I go for the most flavor-coated one that I see? Probably. There you go. Kind of just looks like a nacho, a spicy or nacho cheese chip. Okay, there's the heat. There's the heat. All right. All right. There's the heat. Woo. <laughs> oh, boy. These aren't super crunchy as well. It's like I bought two wet bags of food. Shouldn't get the second one. That was a bad idea. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. That heat's kicking in. Okay. A little bit more spice. Um, I don't know that it has a ton of flavor though. And that's, I think, I think something that like, spicy chips always kind of struggle with is like we want to kick we want to kick the heat to you but they kind of like forget the flavor um and these i don't think have like a ton of flavor they're not terrible they have like a good like a decent kick of spice to them but they're very meh so there you go and a reasonable heat as well i like i don't know if they're supposed to be super hot or whatever but there is a like it's a notable heat but it's not terrible. It's dissipating quickly. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. All right. Here we go. The third one. The Flamin' Hot. Sweet Carolina Reaper. Look at it burning a hole in the bag. Oh, this is such a bad idea. This is such a bad idea. But that's all right. My channel, my content, my lifestyle lives off of poor choices. Reasonably poor choices. Like financially poor choices, but they don't ruin me or bankrupt me. Just like, hmm, that was that was questionable. Not great. Sort of that sort of thing. Okay. Sometimes I talk when I'm like stalling. I like tickled my nose. Okay. Oh boy. All right, this is what you look for in a Cheeto. Look at how red that is. I don't think it's really showing on the camera, but it is a very, very dark red here. There, whew, there's a lot coming off, even just sniffing it. This has a better crunch. I can kind of taste the heat. What? There's not a lot? What are you, are you serious? Here, this one's got more flavor on it. Really? Okay. I mean, there it is, but it's kind of dissipating. Oh, okay. All right. Now it's kicking in. All right. Now it's kicking in a little bit. It's still not terrible. Okay. There it goes. Woo. Shout out to the plane that went over bed. Okay, there it is. All right. It's kicking in a little bit. It's not terrible. I thought that these would be way hotter. It's not dissipating as quickly as the Sriracha. And I think it has a little bit more of a flavor profile to it. The heat... Um, I don't... It's, it's definitely like a notch stronger, but it's not like unreasonable or making me as miserable as I thought it would. Um, I don't know. I, this one's like pretty, pretty okay. It, it's definitely lingering a lot longer. So this is definitely like a eat like two, you know, sort of thing and done. Whereas like I had three of the Sriracha chips, there are two or three of the Sriracha chips and it was like kind of dissipated quickly and nothing even really came close with the initial Mexican street corn Cheetos. So I don't know. Those are, 
Those are okay. The Cheetos, the the Sweet Carolina Reaper have the best flavor, the hottest heat, and they were the best crunch of the batch. Um, the Sriracha doesn't really have like a whole lot of flavor and the heat dissipates pretty quickly, so you could probably eat those pretty fast. And the Mexican Street Corn left me pretty unimpressed because I didn't really get much of a flavor profile out of them. So, I don't know. Those are some hot and fun items that I thought I would buy and try here on uh, this episode of Taste Test. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you'd like more content like this, please be sure to scroll down, subscribe, ring that bell. That way you're notified when I post new videos. Taste Test every Saturday right here on YouTube.com slash Shauna's If you'd like to hear more from this uh from this room uh check out the link at the end of this video and you can learn more about uh the trip i took in california so thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed if you have a suggestion leave it down in the comments below and you might see it on a future episode thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time bon appetit i missed the click again oh my god